So understanding what's essential tremor versus what's Parkinson's disease, are the two related or the same or different and how come all the doctors I go to can't seem to tell them apart is a common question that we get quite a bit from both the ET and the Parkinson's disease communities. So essential tremor and Parkinson's disease are quite different uh, and how we tell them apart is first looking at the tremor assuming the person with Parkinson's disease does have tremor, and trying to figure out what's the biggest features of the tremor. Is the largest thing about the tremor that it happens when you go to do something? Is the largest thing about the tremor that it happens when you're sitting quietly at rest? What are the, what are the key things about it? Also, we look for what other symptoms or experiences are traveling along with the tremor. So is it someone who has a mild balance change and an action tremor and a little tremor in their voice and so these things are traveling along with the main tremor? Or is it someone who's more stooped over now with little shuffling steps or falling backwards more, having trouble with non-motor symptoms that are common in Parkinson's disease? So we're looking for a whole package of stuff going with the tremor to try to tell them apart. One of the things that's tricky is that very mild tremor might not have a really big feature or might not have a lot of things traveling along with it yet because it's so mild or so early. That's what can lead to misdiagnoses. Essential tremor and Parkinson's disease are the most common misdiagnosis for each other uh, because especially in the early stages, it can be hard to find those pack of symptoms that go along together. It can be hard to define a big feature for the tremor when it's very early. There's a difference between misdiagnosis and one thing turning into the other or the two things happening together. Certainly we see people who have both essential tremor and Parkinson's disease and successfully treated for both things at the same time. That's well reported and lots of people do experience that. There's a lot of controversy over whether essential tremor can actually turn into Parkinson's disease or lead to Parkinson's disease. So far, the most recent big studies of tracking people with essential tremor say, no, essential tremor doesn't turn into Parkinson's disease. But it is possible for someone who's had essential tremor for many decades to then develop Parkinson's disease and have both things because both things are common. That doesn't mean that one turns into the other, but that the experience of having both is possible. Certainly, essential tremor and Parkinson's disease seem to be related. They both feature tremor, and it could end up being true that they both impact similar areas of the brain, or that similar things happen to nerve cells in both disorders. So we are still looking for connections between the two, but we don't really think that one means the other. Uh, there are definitely similarities that the two share once the variety of patient and family experiences seems straightforward to say essential tremor, but one person might have a very severe head and neck tremor and voice tremor and no tremor in their hands, while someone else may have tremor in their hands, balance changes, anxiety, and no problems with their voice. Similarly, Parkinson's disease, roughly 30% of people don't have tremor at all. Um, and so there's a big range of experience with people's symptoms, even within their experience of their tremor alone within these disorders. The other thing they share is that they're both clinical diagnoses, which is another one of our topics.